Hello again, my name is Reverend Danny and I'm going to read you your story today. This time I want you to share with me. You have to look at the screen and read the words in bold when they appear. I hope you enjoy the story. Today's story is called The Really Incredible Feast. You may have heard a story like this before. The Feeding of the 5,000. <laughs> but now we're going to share the story together. They walked a long way. They needed a break. So Jesus and friends sat down by the lake. They shared the good news while on their way. But now it was time to eat and pray. They needed some quiet, some calm, some hush. A break from the hustle, the bustle and the rush. But people kept coming and making requests. How were they meant to get any rest? So Jesus said, let's go, come with me. And they got in a boat, crossed over the sea. They landed their boat near fields of green. They made it away from the crowds. But the plan didn't work. Somehow the word had spread. The people found out, so they all ran ahead. Back round the side of the lake to the green, grassy field with hopes to hear more or see more healed. Despite being tired and needing to stop, Jesus didn't grump or get in a strop. He'd brought his friends here so that they could find space, but looked on the crowd with compassion and grace. He spoke of God's kingdom and healed those who were ill and dealt with all their questions until his friends pointed out it was getting quite late. And maybe, just maybe, it was time that they ate. Send the people over there to find a cafe or a shop or a village and perhaps we may then finally find some time to pray and talk with you by the end of the day. But Jesus said, no, don't send them away. You find them food and tell them to stay. Philip was shocked and in possible feat to find enough food for thousands to eat, to earn enough money for all that nosh. It'll take half a year to collect all the dosh, besides just to spend it, well, what would be rash? And anyway, Jesus, we don't have the cash. So then Jesus said, We'll feed the whole lot. We just need some bread. Go and see what we got. We'll do as you wish, the disciples said, and found two fish and five loaves of bread. A young boy had brought them to eat for his tea. Enough for one, perhaps two, but no more than three. And absolutely clearly there couldn't be a doubt. 
not nearly enough for the crowd who turned out. Sit everyone down. Now that is your task. Bewildered and baffled, they did as he asked. In fifties and hundreds, they sat on the ground. They wondered and watched, and looked all around. What's going to happen? Some of them mumbled. They were so hungry, their tummies rumbled. Jesus held up the fish and the bread. He looked up to heaven with them overhead. He said thanks to God. And called out loud, "Share it all out! Feed the whole crowd!" Peckish and puzzled, the people did stare. And as the food passed, they took their share. And right to the last, each and every one. Munched and crunched and chomped along, they had their fill of that young boy's tea, until they were full and smiling with glee. When everyone has eaten, there were lots of bits all over the floor, both bread and fish. The disciples gathered up every last piece. They managed to fill up. A basket each. Twelve baskets filled to the brim with bits. Five thousand men, plus women and kids, all were well fed. They had plenty to eat. Jesus fed them all. An incredible feast. Mm-hmm.